Hello, Captain Gurpi. Truly an honor to have you back on the show. Producer, please Thank introduce yourself. Thank you, Akash. Us. Yes, Akash. My name is Captain Gurpi Singh. I'm co-founder of Ignite Aviation Academy and also a commercial pilot license holder. I have been in field of aviation for past ten years, and I have just launched Ignite Aviation Academy. This is to help students out. Like Ignite Aviation Academy is basically to help students out clear their DGC examination and build their career in aviation. And how can Ignite Aviation Academy help in uh, teaching flying experience? So Akash, what we do is, you know, we initially train students for ground classes. The very first hurdle in becoming a pilot is clearing their ground classes. If you have a written examination clear, then only you can move ahead and start your practicals because these courses are expensive. In mm-hmm. India, these courses cost somewhere around 30 lakhs to 50 lakhs. The same course abroad will cost you around 70 lakhs to 90 lakhs, depending upon the country that you choose. Okay, so the best thing or the very first thing is documentation, medicals and ground classes. So here we not only, you know, teach the students how to move forward about it, but also mentor them for clearing their DGC examination. So we have developed something known as student portal. Mm. Okay, that helps the student clear their written examination fast and right. probably in the very first attempt. Right. So... Uh, yeah. As you said, the financial constraints, uh, especially someone from middle or lower income, is a lot for mm-hmm. uh, becoming a pilot. So, if I Correct. ask you about Ignite Aviation Academy, uh, what budget can one expect before enrolling? So, you know, this is uh, one question that I've been looking forward to answer. We are one of the most pocket friendly ground and training institute in India at this one point. 2 lakhs, that is 1 lakh 20,000, you ha- can get trade for all 5 subjects. Mm-hmm. That is Technical General, Aviation, Meteorology, Air Regulation, General Navigation and RTR. Right. Okay, so let's yeah. let's start with the basic. Like if, if someone who's watching this video who aspires to become a pilot is completely unaware of mm-hmm. the process, how can mm-hmm. we are talking in terms of India? How can one uh, go through the process of becoming a pilot? Okay, the very first thing he or she has to do is take uh, science as the background okay. after, immediately after 10. Physics, chemistry and maths like right. PCMB say, right? These are the um, important subjects because of science loge to ye basically aai jata hai. Plus hmm. nowadays English as well as uh, DGC has mandatory given you an ELP test. So English is also an important language because being a pilot, you have to travel internationally. And English is one language that is spoken internationally and it is ease of communication. Okay. Right. The very first thing is take science after 10. After 12, okay, as soon as you have completed your 12th standard, you can go ahead and take admission in any of the flying training organizations. Okay. After and after you have taken the admission, you should also go ahead and clear your class one medical examination. Right. Okay. Once you have qualified or fulfilled the requirement of the documentation and medical, then you start preparing for your ground training. The very first step is clearing your examinations. Okay. Uh, the you know what is the passing rate when it comes to DGC examination? You have any idea? Around twenty percent. Is it? Yes, that is correct. It is the least passing rate when it comes to any competitive exams. Like for example, if you look at CA exam, the number of students that appear for that exam is also 30% passing rate. Okay. JE, NEET, passing rate is 30-35 to 40%. Okay. Whereas, uh, when it comes to DGC examination, the passing rate is only 20%. Like if I talk figures, First attempt, January attempt of DGC examination, 1,129 students appeared for general navigation. Okay, and only 225 students passed. Right. So, when a passing rate when it comes to DGC examination, out of 1,129 students, mm-hmm. only 225 of them cleared their DGC right. examination the last attempt. Now, this I'm talking about only one subject, that is general navigation. 
so i thought ki why not help students out in clearing the examination the very first mistake or a student does while preparing is mugging up hmm so it is not the students faults actually but the education system in india is designed in such a manner that up till standard 12 and intelligence of a student is judged on the basis of how good he can memorize the sequence of the words okay right. whereas when it comes to any professional course like engineering etc the thing is uh, it is more about understanding the concept and then its application so to overcome this problem we have come up with something known as dynamic study module in which we have created in student portal mm. to help students clear their written examination so this is how we work right so why do you think to this uh, this is so high cut off in dgc examination so uh, the very first thing is the passing percentage is 70 okay, okay. Uh, on an average the student who gets 70 plus is graded what a grade in india right right ha huh. so uh, this is for sure if you are a good student then only you can become a good pilot because mm-hmm. as in pilot you need to have lots of awareness you need to be situational awareness you need to have self awareness you need to be aware of the external threats so right. lots of awareness is required and you need to have an active brain for this and that's the reason only uh, you know students who are of a1 quality or a grade they want it. so we so my mantra is persistence devotion and discipline that's what got me through and that's what will get anyone through this hmm. talk in terms of medical qualification what is the requirement that a student needs to achieve to get a qualification Okay since uh, we are talking about civil aviation you know there mm. are lots of relaxations available like for example you can have specs right. while you are uh, flying okay your bmi body mass ratio should be in check okay mm. there are series of 10 to 15 tests that needs to be carried out for clearing your class 1 medicals now that includes your eyes your chest your abdomen okay they right. do sonography they do audiometry they check your ears they check your nose okay they uh, need an x ray of your chest so there are n number of parameters in which a body is checked before the dgca give you a clearance to be certified to fly your fit to fly certification is your class 1 medical examination right okay now these needs to be conducted uh, every year mm. okay and uh, after 25 years every fourth year earlier it was you know you every fourth year the medical needs to be conducted to in indian air force station but now i guess they have relieved it and now they we no longer need to go to air force station that can be done with the dgc approved officers they are available all over pan india so that is not an issue how many flying hours does a student need to have to uh, become a pilot Okay, in India, you need to have 200 hours to have your commercial pilot license. There are some countries that issue CPL in 150 hours. There are some countries that issue your commercial pilot license in 250 hours. Right. Okay, so it depending upon country to country. In India, it is 200 hours. So anyone who is preparing or looking forward to become a pilot in India, they have to complete 200 of flying hours to get their commercial pilot license. Right. So, how does Ignite Aviation Academy comes to the picture when it comes to flying experience? So, uh, as it comes to flying experience, we have not started with uh, a flying training organization as of now. Hopefully, right. in near future, we will have our own aircraft to fly. But uh, currently, we have tie up with one of the most prestigious flying school in India, that is Bombay Flying Club. and there are a few more flying training organizations we are probably going to sign deal with by end of this month okay. so we and, assign students depending upon their location so that the student doesn't have to travel also right and uh, how do you train student at the academy so at the academy we have two centers one is in chembur and one is in chorni road for offline training but uh, nowadays after post pandemic student feel uh, you know students prefer sitting at their home and doing their training mm. so at the comfort of their home we have created the student portal where the student can go ahead and revise all the chapters that we have taught them online it can it is over a g meet or a zoom meet 
okay we currently have uh, three batches that is going on and we don't uh, take more than five students for batch correct so that we have uh, we could give the individual attention so you know, in a, when it's a class i can handle 15 students i mean that is my personal capacity that i can give attention to 15 students in a batch okay but when it comes to online training it is difficult to handle 15 students all together right. it's easier to handle five students so that's the reason we are currently taking online classes only and we provide the students with all the study material like for example uh, there are few students who are from jaipur so we have uh, you know bought the books we have posted the books to the student they get the books in a day or two and then they continue with the online training in the meantime we also guide them to apply for you know various documentation is there like applying for computer number etc so all the guidance is provided by us so that the stu- we are like one stop solution for all the student problem so would you recommend students to join as early as 10th class or after graduating 12th so uh, i would suggest students to start getting their computer numbers and getting into aviation as soon as they complete their 10th because exa- clearing examinations take time and once you get a hand of it by the time you are in 12th as soon as you have cleared your 12th you are ready to fly right. your dgc examination papers are valid for 5 years okay but you can still have a private pilot license as uh, soon as you turn 17 the limitation for having a commercial pilot license is 18 okay if you are looking forward to build a career in it i would recommend start working on it immediately after 12 if you are just you know there are some students who are here just for entertainment and just to get a private pilot license they can start immediately after 10th as well hmm. now it highly depends upon individual needs right like if someone is uh, build want to be into airline and then have this as a career they should start it after 12 whereas someone who is rich enough and just to want a license to fly they can start after 10th as well right if a student is uh, requiring counseling for job placement or desiring where they should uh, aspire their uh, niche in so can they contact you yes definitely so we provide the students all our students specifically mm. i don't entertain students who are outside my academy but i do provide an job assistance wherein uh, we tell how to apply for a job the one of the most biggest problem is people don't understand how to apply in airline for a job right uh, for example when it comes to indigo one needs to uh, fill in a registration form create and login id for applying for an uh, airline pilot for applying for the job they feel ki theek hai newspaper mein article aa jayega kisi dost se pata chal jayega nahi instead of going to consultancies and you know spending 20 25000 it's easier to go ahead visit any airline's website go to the career option and there is a step by step guidance given there only like for spice that it is given indigo it is given for so all the aspire all the upcoming airlines even they have their job portals already available like akasha air they have not started their operations but still their portal is available so go ahead and do the research khud jab tak aap mehnat nahi karoge tab tak it is not going to help you out consultancies are just going to eat up your money never ever pay for your job in an airline irrespective of what someone is promising you don't fall into that trap i know people who have paid 15 15 lakh rupees to get a job in airline and yet sitting home so be aware of such people is it also true that uh, it's one size fit all that uh, the best uh, job is at a certain airline or it depends on the student so uh, like earlier it was air india since right. it was government owned everyone wanted to be in air india ki government job is stable okay but then irrespective of, of that any field you go the first 4 years or 5 years is definitely a struggle because you are building up power so you're building up rapo you're gaining experience once you have gained enough experience this past the limit right. for uh, like ex- if you go with a budget airline like spice jet their right. pays are not so good but then you build up a lots of hours most of right. the people i know they start with spice jet and they switch to indigo right so that's how it works okay. 
लास्ट क्वेश्चन आई लाइक सॉरी सॉरी या तो इनिशियल डेज में जहां मिले जैसे मिले जॉब कर लो 5 इयर्स डाउन द लाइन व्हेन यू हैव सम 5000 आवर्स ओवर ऑन योर लॉग बुक यू कैन गेट वेयर एवर यू वांट इट राइट ओके लास्ट क्वेश्चन आई लाइक टू आस्क यू व्हाट आर योर फ्यूचर प्लान्स so uh, my future plans well that's uh, really a secret i don't think the people would want to know but yes some of the things that you can know is right now i am in a verge of developing a simulator okay mm-hmm. right now every every one in india is using a simulator that is stable steady they are right. not uh, they are giving you only visual references whereas what i want to create is a six uh, axis simulator that would give the real feel while you are training so right. that's what uh, me and my team is trying to develop along mm-hmm. uh, with the student portal that is already on we are also trying to you know enhance it every day there are there's a team of 6 to 8 people engineers sitting and trying to improvise everything they can do to help the students out right. so uh, these are the things there is one more future plan but it is still on paper unless and until we get start working on it i would not want to really uh, you course. know reveal it because uh, it's an competitive industry and uh, mm-hmm. people can copy right that is so that is so someone one, but someone wants mm-hmm. to join ignite aviation academy like how can they join simply they can pick up a, uh, their phone and give me a call Okay, right. my number is displayed on uh, the website triple w dot igniteavationacademy dot com. Right. Okay, there all the details are available. You can also mail us at ad- admin at the rate igniteavationacademy dot com. So right. if someone wants to reach us out, there are n n number of ways, and we would be really happy to help. Right. Okay, sir, it was truly a pleasure to talk to you. Trust me, the pleasure was all mine, Akash. and i see you have been doing really great you have been putting on a number of podcasts lately and uh, a good editing has also come up i see thank the name sir. has also changed in a number of places so keep up the good work yeah thank you sir thank you so much